When you receive your new pipe channeries, there are a few ways to go about setting them up in your pipe channer. First off, in handling a, a new pipe channer reed, we want to hold the reed by the wrapping or the lower section of the pipe channer reed. Try to avoid contact with the clean cane as much as possible. Oils from your fingers will build up on the reeds, causing the reeds to, to clog and, and, and uh, dirty quicker. Also, you risk the effects of chipping or cracking a brand new reed. When you get your new reeds, one of the first things you like to do is check and test the strength of individual reeds. We always want to be playing a reed or a new reed that's just beyond what we're used to playing. As the cane breaks in, that reed will come back to you and also your strength will build up so that you will gain strength and to play a, a better reed with better cane and stronger cane holding sound and pitch longer. So we, we're looking for the reed that's just a little bit above what we're normally playing. In testing the reeds, what I like to do is I do not like to see a lot of moisture put to a brand new cane reed. Uh, a few of uh, the cane uh, reed makers have brought to my attention the idea of just touching the end of the blades of the reed to the mouth or to the tongue to jump start it with just a slight bit of moisture. Like that. You're just jump starting the end grain of the cane. Then what you want to do is you want to check this, the reed for strength. And going through the reeds individually. Once you've determined a reed that you'd like to go after to try to break in, uh, the first thing we like to do is just test it in the channer dry. When we blow the chanter reed with our mouth, moisture is absorbed into the reed evenly. If we wet the whole reed or spin it, spit in it, as some people have suggested, you only end up wetting particular parts of the reed, so you distort the effect of what you're going to get out of an indiv individual reed. When you go to set your reed in your channer, it's important to remove any tape from uh, pre-existing reeds that you may have been playing. Uh, to have tape on a high G and then test a new reed, you don't know if you're hearing a high G that's flat or a high G that's sharp. So remove the tape. It's a great opportunity to come in and clean all the glue residue off your channer before starting in on breaking in a new pipe channer reed. As a rule, setting the the pipe channel reed just firmly into the reed seat to start the, as, a, as a, a, a starting point to check out sound and pitch. One of the things most people like to do to test pitch is try to balance a low A to a high A to see if we are in pitch. Low A to high A gives you an, an idea if the pipe channel reed is going to show balance from a starting point. The reed will change as you break in the actual reed as the cane breaks down, but usually it breaks in in your favor. Checking the balance of a new reed in, in your pipe channel is a good starting point to, to uh, finding out whether this reed is going to be a quality reed for you long term and a reed that you want to invest the time in breaking in. And as I said before, we're looking at a balance from low A to high A. Then bringing in the, the space notes E and C to check to see if we still maintain that balance is a good, uh, is a good check. What we're looking for is a good balance as a starting point in breaking in a pipe channel reed. If 
you are finding that the balance between low A and high A is not even or close enough to start the break-in period on a pipe channel read. Sometimes we have to alter the, the read in the read seat. One, if we're finding that the pipe channel read is awfully flat, what we're looking at doing is by holding the read on the actual wrapping, we are looking to push the read into the read seat, farther into the read seat, creating a sharper pitch. Sometimes this requires us to pull off the hemp wrapping on the bottom of the pipe channel reed to allow us to push or drive the reed deeper into the reed seat. On the other side, if you find that the pipe channel reed is too sharp to begin with, um, what we're looking at doing at that point is taking a piece, a uh, three, four inch piece of hemp and wrapping the base of the pipe channel reed to create a higher reed seat. So at this point we come back and we check again to see if we have a balance between low A and high A. If you do not have access to a, a, a tuning meter, there are a couple of different ways that you can go about balancing out this reed. One of them is to use your actual bagpipe and know where your bagpipe or older bagpipe chanter reed was pitching out at, inserting this pipe chanter reed into the pipes, playing and determining by whether the drone is flat or sharp, whether the reed is pitched similar to the reed you were just playing. Just another tip to that, and you can come back, raise and mark the spot on your tenor drone uh, pin to know exactly where you would like to have your reed pitch out at. It is awfully handy to have a good quality bagpipe tuner at hand when it comes to setting new pipe channel reeds. If you are finding a new pipe channel reed to be just a little bit on the strong side, one of the quick tricks to breaking a reed in to you and making it slightly easy is to pinch the sound box on the reed. Now to do this, you do it once and then play uh, maybe two times, three times over the lifespan of the reed to help break in the cane, help the fiber in the cane contract a bit. So what you're looking to do is in the sound box, just a slight pinch and then let go. What you've done by, by pinching it is you've eased the reed up. The reed will actually flex its way back out to where it was, but it will ease up the strength on the reed. The overall effect of this will change the pitch of the reed, slightly sharpening the top hand on the channer. We don't want to do this too much, but it's a way to get a new reed playable quicker. Too many times at the pinch and you can ruin a very good reed.